myself, Dr. M. Lakshmi Devi, Associate Professor in the Department of CACDS at Institute of Aeronautical Engineering. In this video lecture, we will uh, discuss some of the programs based on file handling. Uh, so, we will see the first program. So, this is the first program here. So, write a C program to read a text file containing some paragraph. So, therefore, uh, there is, uh, we assume that here there is a text file and then uh, it has some content in that. So, by using fseek function, so you, you have to use fseek uh, function and read the text after skipping n characters, that is n number of characters from the beginning of the file. So, that means uh, this program uh, says that we already have a text file and in that we have some text, uh, we have some information in that file and then by using fseek function, we have to read the text by skipping n number of characters from the beginning of the file. Suppose the user is specifying n as 3, then um, by skipping 3 characters from the beginning of the file, from the beginning of the file, then um, program has to print after the third character. So that means suppose n is equal to 3 given here, and if you have here um, IARE, so that means 3 characters are to be skipped, and then the last character is to be printed. So and then after the three characters, whatever, how many number of characters are there, those are, those are to be printed on the screen. So this is what the program is about. Now let us see the program here. So in order to use file handling concepts or in order to read or uh, write data to the file, so first step is we need to declare a file pointer. So apart from the header file, so inside the main function we need to include, we need to declare a file pointer. So name of the file pointer is file. And then, so it is of type file. So this pointer, this is also a file pointer which is of type file. Then we have a character, array of characters, its size is 10. And then we have declared a variable, an integer variable to read the number of characters to skip. Then after that, the first step in order to uh, read the data from the file is first we have to open the file. So, syntax to open the file or function to open the file is fopen function. So, by using fopen function, so this is the syntax of fopen function. So, it takes the path of the file. So, if it is present in the same directory or uh, where, the, where the programs are there, no need to mention the path. So, directly name of the file you can write. And then apart from that, uh, this is another parameter which it takes. This is the mode in which we are uh, opening the file. So, this is the read mode in which R specifies read mode. So, only we are opening the file only for performing reading operation. And then when you open this and this is allocated to file pointer. So, uh, if the file does not exist. So, this is the logic or syntax. This is a logic or this is a program which is written to handle if the file does not exist. So, if there is no file named test1.txt, we cannot perform any read operation. So, in order to handle that error, so we have written this condition. So, if file is equal to null, so we are comparing this pointer value with null value. If the file pointer contains null value, then there is there is a message is to be printed on the screen that is file not found or unable to open and then it will exit with an error message. Exit with an error. And then in the next line, after that, we need to read the number of characters to skip in the file. So that is what we have done here with the help of scanf function. Since n is an integer variable, so percentage %d is the format specifier and this value is read at this particular location. So the value which is read um, in n, suppose n is equal to 3, so that is stored in the at this particular location. So, location of n. So, there will be some address for each variable which is declared. So, there will be some address. Suppose 1000 is the address. So, ampersand n means. So, at this particular location, 3 will be stored. So, scanf takes format specifier as well as uh, the address and the name of the variable. Next, after this, uh, we need to use fseek function. So, fseek function is a function. So, in order to... Um, access the data in the file randomly. So, we have a concept called as random access. So, in order to access the data in the file randomly, we have one of the function is called as, one of the function is fseek function. So, this, this is the syntax of fseek function. So, it takes three parameters. First one is the file pointer. Uh, next one is the position. Uh, uh, this specifies the number of 
characters and this specifies uh, the position, the pointer position. Uh, seek set, we have three variables here. So we have three param. We can have, so at this position we have three. Seek set, seek current and then seek end. So these are the, out of them, one of them is seek set. So we are comparing this function with if this value, so it has some return value. So if it returns an integer value, so if it returns null, then fseek function is, uh, will fseek function is performing or uh, if the file pointer is placed at that particular location successfully, then it will move the pointer to the particular location in the file successfully. So else otherwise, else otherwise it says that um, this file point, this fc function will return if this file, if it is not able to place the file pointer at this particular location, then it will give you an error message. So for that, in order to handle that, if the return type of this is, uh, if it is some non-zero value, so it will give you an error. So therefore, that error will be printed on the screen and then we need to close the file. So if it returns some error. Next one is to read and print the remaining content. So we have declared a variable ch of type character and then in order to print those characters which have been read, so we are using put care function. So put carry function, it takes one argument. So that is, so this is the argument which it takes and this is uh, placed in a while loop here. So this will go on reading. So with the help of a get c function, we can read the content of the file um, and it takes one argument that is a file pointer. And this value, whatever is read from the file, so that is assigned to this variable, the, uh, the string of the characters which is read fgetc is a function to read character in the string to read the character in the file. So then after that each character value is assigned to this variable ch and then if it is compared with this value, if it is not equal to end or f, so then this function will be, uh, this will be printed on the screen that is each character will be printed on the screen. After that, after performing um, this operation, then we need to close the file. So, in order to, so if close function is a, is a function which is used to close the file, it takes one argument that is file pointer. So, you know, after using this file uh, pointers, we need to close the file so that uh, system resources are released. Then after that memory is released, memory is freed and so on. So, there are some certain advantages. So, therefore, we go for f close function. Then at the end, so this is, if you execute this program, so already we have a text file, so test1.txt, so in that text file we have the content called as, so this is the content, hello, how are you, and then program to get the count of number of items, number of lines from the file. So this is the content which is already there in test1.txt file. So in this content, so when you execute this program and it will prompt the user to enter the number of characters to skip. Suppose we enter 2, uh, integer value 2 is given, then it will print this content on the screen or on the console this will be printed. So that means, so we have, we have to skip 2 characters and then after that we need to print the content which is available in the file. So after skipping two characters means, so first these two characters are skipped and then after that from here it will start printing. So from here it will start printing whatever is there in the file. So in this way, so this is the output of this program. So in this way you can skip certain characters from the file and then start printing whatever the remaining content of the file. So thus we have seen the use of fseek function. Uh, to place the pointer at a particular location in the file. Then next program is to write a C program to read a text file test1.txt. So this is also performing read operation. So we are uh, opening a file named as test1.txt and print the following. So here what we need to print here is, so there are two programs here. First one is, first we need to print substring of n characters from the position i. From the position i, suppose we have uh, 
we have hello here. So in a text file, suppose test1.txt, we have hello. This is the data which is there in the text file. So what this uh, statement says here is substring of n characters from the position i. Suppose i and n, these values are specified by the user. Suppose i is equal to 2 here. So 2 is the starting position and it needs to print n characters. So substring length is n characters. Suppose n is equal to 3 here. So it will start printing from, so starting position is, it will take the value of i that is second. So from the second position it will start printing up to three characters. So e l l. So these are the three characters. So this is the substring. So length of the substring n is equal to three here and this specifies, i specifies the starting position from where it has to start printing. Next one is reverse order of substring of n characters produced in a. So in A, in the in this question, so suppose we are printing ELL, then in the next B part, what is asked here is to print the reverse of this. So LL, so this is very easy. So we will see the program first. So in order to use file handling concepts, first we need to declare a file pointer. So here name of the file pointer is file. Then after that, uh, this is the name of the file. Then we are declaring a variable character array. So name of the character array is buffer. Its size is thousand. Then one more variable i you have. This is of integer type. So in order to first we need to open the file in read mode. So program space says that we have to read the text file. So therefore we have to open it in read mode. Then after that we need to check the condition. So file pointer if it contains some appropriate value. Uh, if it is having some address then it will read from the file. If it is containing null value, then it will, then uh, this statement will be printed on the screen that is error opening the file and then it will return an error code. So after that, fgets function, so fgets function is used to read the content of the file, so into the buffer. So fgets function is to read the content of the file from the, um, to read the content of the uh, so fgets function will read the string value from the file. So from the file name test1.txt. So here uh, this is the destination where the contents are read and then this specifies the size of buffer and then this is a file pointer. So these are the three arguments it takes. So next one we need to close the file after performing read operation. So whatever content is there in the test1.txt file. So that is read into the buffer variable. So that we need to, after that we are closing the file. Next, uh, we have, we need to define the values of n and i. So here in this program, n and i values are, uh, these are, the, these are initialized statically. We can also give them dynamically also. So n is equal to 4 and i is equal to 2. So that means uh, from the second character it has to be, we have to start read, uh, uh, we need to start reading from the second character and the length of the substring is 4 here. So now let us see how we can print the characters on the screen now. So printf by using printf, so this statement will be printed on the screen. Then after that in order to print it on the screen we are using a for loop function. So for loop, uh, we are using for loop here. So for i is equal to i minus 1. Suppose we have hello here. So this is index is so we know that the index starts from 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. Suppose we have given i is equal to 2 now. So in the question, in the program we have given i is equal to 2 and n is equal to 4. So when i is equal to 2, so that means that, so starting position, uh, we should start reading from the second character. So second year in the sense, this is from here we, we need to read. So that means i minus 1. So i is initialized to i minus 1 and it should read till n is equal to 4. So n is equal to 4 means the so length of the substring is 4. Length of the substring is 4 means so this 1, 2, 3, 4. So 4 characters are to be read here. So therefore we have written this statement when n is equal to 4. So condition to be, so this is a conditional expression we need to use. So i minus 1 plus n. So i minus 1 means i is equal to 2, 2 minus 1, 1 plus 4. So i less than 5. 
so that means it will read till four characters so then after that if by using this if condition we are checking if the buffer value is zero if it is containing some zero value or um, next line character or new line char uh, new line character if it is there then it will break so we have used your break statement so break is used if we reach the end of the string so then after that it will print the buffer value on the screen so so this contains each character by character is printed on the screen then after that so this is a b part so this is the a part where we, where we are printing the substring and this is a b part where we are printing the reverse of the substring so in order to print the reverse of the substring so again we are using the for loop here so uh, by using for loop so starting value it should start printing from the last character so that is i is equal to i minus 1 plus n minus 1 so that means if i is equal to 2 here so 2 minus 1 plus so this is 4 minus 1 this is equal to 1 plus 4 minus 1 5 minus 1 so that means 4 so i is equal to 4 so starting position uh, so whatever character is there at this particular index i is equal to 4 so that will be read first then after that this is a conditional expression so after each iteration i value is decremented by 1 i is equal to 3 2 i is equal to 1 and then after that i is equal to so this is the last because in i is equal to so i till this condition it will go on reading i is greater than or equal to i minus 1 so what is i 2 minus 1 which is equal to so therefore i greater than or equal to 1 so till i is equal to 1 it will go on reading the characters and the same is printed on the screen with the help of this printf statement so if you execute this program and uh, so these are the two lines so this is the output of the a part and this is the output of the b part here so substring of four characters from the position 2 so this this is printed so starting from second position so if the user is giving 2 here so this is i value and this is n value so if i is equal to 2 and substring length is 4 so it will start printing from the second character second character in the sense the index is 1 here so 1 to length of the substring is 4 so 4 characters we need to print and then in this part reverse order of the substring of 4 characters is printed so we are printing this just in reverse order so this is a program next program is to write a c program to open a file named inventory so suppose we we need to create a file called as inventory so this is the name of the file inventory.txt so and we need to store the following information in the file so that is in the first column we have data item so these are the records we need to store in the file data item name model price and quantity so in data item p1 is the uh, first record and then we have data item name model price and quantity so under each heading we have corresponding data item is p1 name is printer and the model is s200 price is 5500 and quantity is 10 so we need to read the data from inventory file and display the inventory table with the value of each item so for example hint is also given here so value is equal to so this is how we can compute the value so value is equal to price into quantity so value of this is equal to 5500 5, 5, into 10 so now let us see how we can do this so um, for this we need to store the information so here uh, we have seen that so this is a record so each record has information which is consisting of which uh, the data type of each record or each field is different here so this is a string so this is a string so that means character array so we can declare character array for this too this is also character array and the last two are integer values so therefore we can use a structure we can define a structure to hold the information so therefore we have defined a structure here struct is the keyword and then name of the structure is item so in this we have five fields uh, so five members of the structure so first one is character to hold the number so that means the data item next one is the name next one is model and then uh, next one is the price and the next one is quantity here so inside the main function so this is the end of the structure this here we have declared the structure we have not defined we have not declared 
declare any variable for this structure, we are going to declare it inside the main function. So next, after that, we are creating a file. We are creating a file pointer, and then uh, we need to use f open function. So we uh, we are we need to open this fun file in the right mode. So we are opening the file with the help of f open function, and we are opening it with the help uh, in right mode. So w specifies right mode. So right mode means if it is if the file does not exist also, then file will be created first, and then data is returned to the file. So file is ready for uh, writing operation. So if the file is equal to null, then after that we need to check the condition. If the file is not created successfully, then this is error message which is printed on the screen. Then after that we are writing the data to the file. So we need to write this data to the file. So in this file, this is the data which is to be written. So in uh, in order to write data to the file, we have f printf function. So as we have printf function which writes data to the console or the screen, we have f printf function which can write data to the file. So it takes one of the argument as file pointer and then after that separated by whatever data we need to write to the file. So this is the data which has to be written. Then after that uh, we are so if there are if there is more information to be written, then we can specify it in the next line here. So after writing the information to the file, we need to close the file. Next, after that, again we are opening the file in read mode. So what we are doing here is first we have opened the file in write mode, and then close the file, and then after that again we are opening the file in read mode. Then after that, whatever data is there in the file. So that information has to be printed on the screen. Now let us see how we can do that. So once it is open, first um, we need to check whether the file exists or not. So we know that file exists even when, so even though it is a better practice to write this condition, if file pointer is equal to null, so there is error opening the file reading, file for reading. Next here in this line, we have de uh, declared the structure variable. Uh, the variable name is item. Then total value is equal to zero here. One value. Um, we have declared a variable total value, so its value is assigned as zero here. Next, we have used a while loop. Uh, inside the while loop, uh, we have written the statements. So this while loop will read the content of the file. So in order to read the data from the file, we have f scanf function. So as we have scanf function. So scanf and f scanf these are formatted input functions. So which is used to read the data from the so scanf reads the data from the user or the programmer, whereas or uh, then f scanf reads from the file. So it takes the first one. It takes arguments. The first one is the file pointer separated by. So these are the format specifiers. So since we have so in this record we have uh, five data items. Or five fields we have. First one is first one is uh, string type or character array. Next one is character array. Third one is character array that item dot number, and it it is stored in this particular location. So item dot number. So this corresponds to item dot number. This specifies item dot name. Percentage is item dot model. Percentage D is item dot price, and then percentage D is item dot quantity. So if it is equal to, so we are checking with this condition. If it is equal to five, then int value is equal to item dot price into item dot quantity. So in order to, we have given value is equal to quantity into price of each item. So total pieces or total quantity available into the number of price of each item. So in order to compute this, so we are using a variable value. So in that we are storing this value item dot price into item dot quantity total value is computed as since we have only one field here so we can use this uh, we can this to this value is not is directly equal to total value then after that whatever content uh, this information again it is to be printed on the screen so in order to print it on the screen so we are using percentage s is a format specifier to specify the number. The, to specify the first column, second column information is uh, that is a string. So third column information is string. This is a 
this is integer, this is integer, and the last one is value. This is also of integer type, which we have computed from this particular from this statement. Then after that, uh, after the end of this while loop, we are printing the total value. So after performing the operations, that is read operation from the file. So we are we need to close the file. So if you execute this program, so this is what we can get on the screen. So this is the output of the line. So this is the output of this statement. So here we have used printf statement. So it will print item number. So this is what given you printf item number, then name, model, price, quantity and value. So value is computed from the available information uh, which is there in inventory.txt file. And this is the information which is already available in the in inventory. Uh, this information we have written to the file inventory.txt. After writing the information, we are reading from the file and then calculating the value or total value you can say. So total value of inventory is, so total value, since we have only one record, only one record is, to be, is maintained here. So therefore, we have total value as 5500 into 10. So that is 55,000. So in this way, we have uh, seen programs, so programs based on file only. In the next video lecture, we'll see some more programs based on C programming. Until then, thank you. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.